Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture. 257. You could think at the number such as 257 that, that you'd be an established and stable republic. You, you could have been until you decided to turn on the water and sewage features of this here uh, Soviet simulator. And then it can all go very poorly, very quickly. Question posed last time, I believe, was uh, was it enough to turn it to easy citizen reaction for like a couple of uh, one and a half months? And the short answer is, I don't think so. Cheers. <clears throat> and just a few few of the problems that I've uh, that I've gathered up so far without without any real order to them really we can start here for one thing the electricity supply for for this entire thing this entire thing on the mountain here look at that yeah uh, we're currently drawing 10.2 megawatts and that, that doesn't sound like a problem but it is since the way the, the electricity actually makes it here is by these underground power cables and they have a maximum capacity of 12 megawatts that that's Probably not a huge problem right now. It could become one and we are at the limits of the capacity of the power line, power cable, especially during night time, I'd imagine. And the other things that we're doing, we're working on a new water supply for the, the capital here, for the Vivas Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture proper. Uh, you can see here they're, they're digging uh, and things and trucks are coming with, with stuff. And they're digging, digging to build pipes. The pipes need like a pretty decent amount of steel and what, what not. And so, so the, st the steel, steel mill is uh, overstrained at the moment. We're not making enough steel to keep up with them. But that's okay. We, we can make it muddle through, I believe. And the electricity problem for, for the mountain people is not that bad. Neither is not no panic with that. But what, what is a bit uh, panic inducing though if, is if you click on, on these here police stations. Uh, and there's a, there's a second one. <laughs> this doesn't look very good, now does it? No, and they're all like this. And I, yet again in a situation like this, I don't know what to do. But if the chance to solve a crime is like 5% and they're just stuck not getting anywhere, I'm, what the hell should we throw out all the cases? Or all of them, but a few, many of them. Stop, don't throw out anymore. I don't know if this is a good idea. It's, it's, it could very well not be a good idea to do this. Uh, but what the hell. Maybe this will allow me to catch up a little bit and get some cases over to the judicial system and where they can be judged. Now you're throwing out like se plenty of serious crimes here too with a decent chance to solve. I don't know if I want to be micromanaging this to, to such an extent that, that I am right now. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so, and uh, this, these are the police stations for the capital then. They, they are not doing that great. As we can see here. Serious crimes that we're throwing out. Could be murders. Murderers going free to commit even more murders. I don't know. At least the snow is melting. It's the 22nd of February after all. Yeah, but that, that was the police stations in in the capital. And if you look at the police stations here in Utopia, uh, it doesn't look so much as uh, as Utopia. Now does it? Does it? No, it looks like a crime-ridden hellhole. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Uh, the same thing here. Uh, they they haven't got it anywhere on anything. 125% of cases were unexamined this year, apparently. I suppose they give up eventually on it, even if you don't go in and do this, but what? Uh, this is too many. How many clicks I'll, I'll wear out the mouse before we f we're finished with this? Uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm just clicking away here now, I don't you know. There you go, now I have a chance to, to do something about those that you still have. 
chance to solve this is that what we're sorting on here? Maybe we can't sort here. What do you think this is? Excel? Ah, this is not Excel. We can't sort any arbitrary thing. That's, that's, that's not, that's not. You got a nowhere on the investigation and, and the chance to solve is like 50%. Yeah, sure. Well, let them give that, get up to new crimes then. The problem is <laughs> the productivity is just not very good. 36% for Roland here, and um, no one is like at 100%. A few maybe, but that's about it. Yes, but now I forgot to, to, to micromanage this police station. I don't even. I still don't. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. This could be a terrible idea to do this. It must mean that the criminals who did these crimes go free and are then, then can commit new crimes. I suppose their crime rate is increased slightly and they commit more serious crimes. Yes, that was one more thing and then we have um, up here on, uh, on Prison Mountain. We have a few issues too on Prison Mountain. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they have a small police station somewhere around like here. Yes, and it's, it's not looking that great here neither. No, is it? No, no. No, it's looking pretty bad. And do the same thing here, I don't know. They also have more, even more pressing issues actually up in Prison Mountain, on Prison Mountain. And that is, since, since we have expanded the housing here quite a bit now, um, not all of the people can actually get on a bus to get to the various services that they require. And they have the choice of a bus or a cable car, and the cable car system can only handle so many people. This is the bus line. Uh, this is not uh, going to cut it. This isn't cutting it, rather. So, I thought here was simply to replace these buses with, with something larger. And, um, well, at the very least, we, we do have a. We have many buses, but it doesn't have. But these, these take a lot of people. You know, when, when this started out, I had like not that many people living up there really. Uh, now there are a lot of them. So, so um, a powerful one and a one that takes many people. So one of these, the, the, the man here is slightly more powerful. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to need more than this or more than so. We start by deploying these buses to, to the thing. Instead, yes, there you go, there you go, there you go. We keep that around and, and then we can we can get rid of a few of, of these. That's going to be a few clicks. I could have sold all the, the buses before actually deploying the new ones, yeah, I could. There are many things you could or should or would have done, not only in the Soviet Republic, in life and universe and everything. For now, we're getting rid of these, there we go. And if you could just clear out these buses here, I could get even more of them. Thank you. This should at least allow all the people living up on, on Prison Mountain to get, uh, to get their daily needs and requirements satisfied, I would very much hope. There you go, and uh, let's just see how this is set up too. We have this bus stop, and considering how many people live here nowadays, <laughs> maybe possibly should have put in a proper bus platform instead, but the idea was maybe never to, to make this so extensive. And to have this many people living here, how many people actually live up on Prison Mountain nowadays? Not counting citizens, uh, or, or not counting prisoners, I would think. 3,318. <laughs> okay. And you expect this to, to, to work? I, um, I, I expect it to maybe, maybe work. We'll see. We have 200 and something passengers waiting and uh, 100 students waiting. Yes, and here too. Um, and they, are, they, they have to go back and forth here, either 
yeah, cable, cable way station and uh, bus, bus stop. That's what they do. Uh, this line, uh, should we do even more uh, bus replacement? I think we should actually. This is now getting to be a, a quite a significant amount of buses. Yes, well, we need them. Uh, get even more. Last money, as many as, as it will require. There you go, all to save. Thank you so very much for your service. Um, that was maybe one of the more pressing things at, ha at hand, because those people would have gotten very sad. They are already not extremely well off. <laughs> right, what else was there to do? Yeah, the criminality all over the place. And, yeah. I said in the beginning here that uh, we were lacking in a bit of steel production and the steel mill isn't running at, uh, at an optimum capacity. The steel mill is uh, over here. It is not running terribly bad, but, but it could be running better and we could probably have a lot more passengers on these here trains. So we could have quite a few more train uh, passengers on them. Where, where do you think you're going? You're going to Bongni Open Storage. With this steel, where they already have quite a lot. Up here we have nothing. Yes, you should probably set up your stuff, your logistical change better than. Yes, I should. This area uh, th that I built quite a few years ago, uh, apparently was a, a, a must have built it before water and sewage uh, patch update because. The chemical plant doesn't have any hookups for such things. And we're, we're bringing like a lot of workers here uh, who, if they would not go here, most likely would end up on a train heading for either the steel mill and that general area or or the oil refineries. And we could always use people at the oil refineries, especially at a time like this. Um, maybe not right now or maybe not. Uh, at all to this extent, but we are the People's Proletarian Petroleum Prefecture, so we, we're not going to have a small amount of workers in the oil refineries, no matter what. But to get to 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 get to the point, yes, I'm going to retire all these buses because they they don't do anything uh, useful anyway. <laughs> the workers that that travel on them, they can't work, as the, the chemical plant doesn't have any water hookup. And I'm not in the mood right now to tear it down and rebuild it with one that will get those connections. And there you're full. Okay, um, we hide. There we have another vehicle, road vehicle step out here in the meat. At the meat industry. You can put a few buses there too, right? Sure, why not? And. There, all of those buses are now on their way to a depot. Uh, Utopia workers, 357 workers on this one. That's better. And if we, the, here's one train, for example, uh, the, this train line. Then this is the one that takes workers to to the to the oil refineries. We have three trains on it. I think we could stand to lose one for, for a little bit. Where are you? you? You're there, so I can yeah, send you to depot. I, maybe not a good idea at the moment. You wouldn't happen to be a refiner train now? Would you happen to be a refiner? Yes, you would. Then we can easily send you to a depot. Or to the depot, uh, if I could find it. Yeah, if you follow the railroad in around uh, here, you'll find it. There it is. It's empty for the moment. So, yeah, okay, we have taken all those buses off, off the burden of Utopia and also one train. And hopefully then we get a whole lot more workers for steel mill and uh, whatnot that we have out here. Also out here there is like a lot of superfluous industry now because we're not... Um, I have no ambition of producing any more electronics around here. Oh, that's down in uh, Svenemannen. 
Uh, so I think that we can throw this away, but it has 12 tons of electronics in its uh, export thing. Hmm. I don't want to throw that out though. No, but we're going to have to muck about quite a bit to, to get, get it out. Yes, I'm looking for a, one of these. This one. You have some crops on board, you can, uh, we can discard that cargo. And you go... You know, I will put this... Yeah, we, uh, yes, I do. We have a storage place for it. The slightly silly bit is maybe that the factory is already connected to that storage, because that, I think that is here. How much electronics do you get in one go? Uh, <laughs> 11 tons, that was just about what they had. Yes, and this is uh, the radio storage, so that's a good place to put it. Yeah, you can go th do that, and then when once you've done that only once, actually, you can go back there to the depot. Okay, uh, what else? Yeah, I closed down the electro complex at uh, between PvP and Utopia. I've uh, gone over a few of the problems that we're currently facing. One of the most major ones is probably the criminality. <laughs> Look at this bug! <clears throat> ah, oog. This doesn't feel good. I have to say. And it is the productivity here of the people that, that is just not very good at all. How is the productivity of the people living here in um, in this town? Town. This is the the most popular city that we have. I mean, their yeah, their their, their criminality is really low. Their productivity is a hundred and five percent on average. And um, I think that will migrate even more workers actually from from here to up to up to the capital. There can be uh, good police officers and, and all sorts of business. Uh, police station is there. If we put people in, into these buildings maybe it could be a good idea. Also an overlay that uh, would be of great help here is the number of free flats that we have. There we go. Yeah, it gave us a little bit of an insight into where there's like not a lot of people living here at the moment I also I don't I hope that this put <laughs> moving this many people in here won't uh, like overload these water and or sewage systems too much if it might right uh, <laughs> these buildings uh, by the television station, I try and keep them, try and fill them up with workers over and over again, but they just keep leaving. What do you, but do you have any serious problems? No, one worker couldn't go work because there wasn't a kindergarten place. 67 couldn't go to church, then, then that's how it is in the communist utopia, and one person was unable to get electronics. Two people were unable to visit the Papua Tavern. I mean, this is nothing too serious. No? It really should all be on its way back, in my opinion, this. But uh, no matter how many people I, I move in here, they just keep leaving. There you go. <laughs> I have yet another not a decent amount. Um, see if we shouldn't retire a few more. Yeah, here we see <laughs> all these buses coming. Uh, but you're not like... Your capacity is not being utilized. Yeah, I think that we now we should have enough then. And get rid of this. Get rid of this one. It's a bit unfortunate that there are people on it. They will have to try the luck again tomorrow. And one more thing before we leave here is that to 
build a proper police station up here. Not that it will be most likely if if we we succeed in getting uh, hands on, on grips on this situation that we're currently facing. That is pretty terrible. But still, if we manage to get grips on it, then then this police station that I'm going to put in now will be slightly uh, superfluous. <laughs> but where do you put it? <laughs> sort of need it so that people can walk to it. Uh, we don't have a lot of staff here at the hospital, but they seem to be coping. Okay. State infrastructure, crime and punishment, and the police station. Proper big one. You, you, yes, you do have a sewage connection and a heating and electricity. Excellent. There we go. And assign that to construction officers. First the road and, and then the police station. Okay, so that is a, a, a quick overview of what is going on. See how they're doing down at the steel mill here just before we say goodbye. Um, 108 workers. How many on this train now? 409? Okay. That's a, that's a lot better. And yet again, there's a train here stealing uh, all the goddamn steel from us. Stop it. Uh, Bongni train distribution office. Uh, you should uh, you should leave a, a bit of steel here, here I think. And let them have a little bit for themselves too. Uh, open storage. Okay, let, leave that at ten percent before you start grabbing it. Especially considering how much steel you have down at your place. But that, that, that 366 workers in the steel mill. Great. The average productivity of this person, for example, Maxime here, is 30%. Uh, and here's another one. <laughs> 30%. And they have a thing in common, and that is that they live in Utopia. Yes, Utopia is not a great place to be right now. And also, people can't work because there isn't a kindergarten. But there are kin enough kindergartens, it's just the productivity, again, is so low. And I might have to concede and setting it to easy again for a while <laughs> for things to recuperate a bit more than I don't I don't know quite yet um, but uh, th those are some things taken care of are you uh, are you doing any better here not really not really yes but that's it for the 275th installment of the people's proletarian petroleum prefecture and ladies and gentlemen Thank you so very much for watching. Uh, next time I will continue working on these things that I have uh, laid out here and there are most likely more, even more catastrophes lurking just around the corner. Good night.